So initially we're starting at row zero. I know name ID says one, but this is row zero. Remember we count from zero. Then this is row one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So we're starting from zero, and that's exactly why we do this minus one. Because at the moment page is going to equal one, or it might equal two. But we want to say page minus one because we always want to be one back from ourselves uh, for the purpose of starting at counting at zero. And then we're multiplying that by per page. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, for example, if the user specified that they want, well, didn't specify anything and we were starting on page one, we're going to say page minus one. So that is going to be, we're starting at zero and zero times six is um, zero in this case. So we're starting from record zero and we're limiting to per page. So we will first of all go from zero to six. Then if the user specifies um, the page to be two, then we're saying page minus one. So that's two minus one is one times per page is six. So we're then starting at, uh, at record six um, and we are continuing on from there. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. It's just a bit of mathematical logic, quite straightforward. Uh, but if you're not sure, you'll probably work it out a bit later on. So what we need to do now is we need to update our query because obviously at the moment this query is selecting all results and that's not what we want. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, test out our page to see if we have any errors, which I don't think we should have, no. Okay, so we're gonna append onto the end of this query uh, the limit keyword. And the limit keyword takes uh, two parameters, if you like, it's not, um, I, I don't think it's a function, but yeah, it takes two parameters. And the first one is the start. So we're saying, um, for example, if we wanted to show record zero to six, we could just type a zero and a six in there, okay? And if we go over to our browser, you can see that that just limits it to the first six records. What we could then do is say um, six to, um, let's say 12 uh, and refresh. Oh no, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry, the last um, parameter here is the amount that you want to display. So if we start a result, it wrote, uh, sorry, if we start at row six and we want to show six results, that's basically how that works. And in that case, we're gonna get the next six results and then so on and so forth. So this could then become 12 and we want to show six, which is them. And then we want to go and increment that again by six because we're saying per page six and that'll be 18 and we want to show six. However, that's just gonna show two because it's the last two in our, in our uh, table. So we can scrap these for now because we're not defining these ourselves. We have these dynamic variables that we've created that are gonna update that for us. Well, per page isn't dynamic, but you know what I mean. So start per page. Remember this is how many results that you want to display after the start. And we've already talked about calculating the start, so that's pretty straightforward. So now what we can do is refresh. You'll see that we've automatically come to page one. Remember, this automatically takes us to page one if we don't have a uh, page get variable set in our browser. Now I can manually do this now. I can say page equals one. I can then change it to page equals two, page equals three, or I can go page equals four and that's the last two results. So you can see that now through this uh, URL at the top, we're actually um, defining the um, page number that we want. That's being calculated here, dividing it per page. And we're then, um, we're then take, well, we're taking the page here and we're creating a start from it. Okay, so now what we want to do is obviously display page numbers underneath here so we can click each uh, page that we have. So if we come underneath here or, or, or wherever you want to display your pages, um, we're gonna need to first of all create a check and that is um, obviously in an if statement we have to meet a condition and this is pages is greater than or equal to one. 
okay so if pages is greater than or equal to one the reason being is that if we only have one page there's no need to display links to go onto page two or three if we only had say four records and we're showing a maximum of six per page we wouldn't need a page two so this essentially just checks if we have more than one or equal to one page okay so now we need to create a for loop if you're not familiar with for loops this is going to be a bit complicated and I'm not going to explain too much uh, but have a look at those if you haven't already come across them so we're going to say for x equals 1 this is essentially just a counter this x variable we're counting up so we can display the page as x hopefully that makes sense we've got x the condition here is while x is smaller than or equal to pages so we've got the amount of pages here that we've already defined uh, so we want x to be smaller than or equal to pages in this condition and then we're just going to increment x this is standard practice of a for loop so what I'm just going to do here is echo out um, x and then I'm just going to append on a uh, space just so we can see what happens let's go ahead and refresh and you can see that we've got 1 to 4 so because we calculated this 4 earlier we uh, created a pages uh, query here that got the result from the amount of records divided by six uh, we've um, already essentially found out how many pages that there are however we need to add links to this so let's just get rid of that and now let's say echo um, and create a link inside of here is going to be um, the x variable because this is obviously one two three and four and then in here we want to say page equals and remember we were typing this in manually earlier but now we can define it as x so I'm just concatenating on this string and, and using full stops here uh, just in case you didn't know so we start this link here we then uh, say the page equals x which is going to be one two three and four and then we say uh, we end that part of the link and then we display the page number as well and I'm going to put a space after that just there uh, so the uh, page numbers are nicely evenly spaced out okay let's refresh now we have links if I hover over this if you look at the uh, bottom of my browser you can see that we've got um, the full URL and then we've got index.php page equals one we've got now if we move over to this we've got page equals two page equals three and page equals four so now we can safely assume we can click on these and the functionality that we were um, doing ourselves up here earlier is now in the form of links so let's click on page two page three and page four so that's pretty straightforward we've easily created pagination from um, records in a database now there's one more thing I'm going to cover if you're interested in this um, by all means watch a lot uh, carry on watching uh, otherwise it's not really entirely necessary it's just making um, the currently selected page bold now before I start that we do actually have one problem and the problem is is that the user can always define the page up here themselves so we can say two uh, and three and four and so on however what happens if the user was to type page equals five you can see that we're left with these numbers here when we might not actually want them we might want to in fact display sorry that page was not found or incorrect page or something like that uh, so for now I'm gonna just add in an extra check so I'm gonna say as well as this check here pages is uh, greater than or equal to one remember our pa if our pages are greater than or equal to one we can display our uh, our links I'm also going to say if page is less than or equal to pages and what this is doing is it's checking the user defined page and saying is it less than the total overall pages and if it is less than the total overall pages i.e. in this case is it one two three or four then we can display our links if it's five six seven and so on we don't want to display the links so uh, that's another bit of basic logic let's press enter on that and you can see that they've disappeared however if we go back to page four you can see that our links show back up and we continue to the use them so that's just a bit um, I mean it will still work without this but I just like to make it look nice um, and if the user was trying to you know insert their own 
uh, values into the URL we can you know make it look a bit nicer okay so the next thing uh, like I mentioned before we're gonna make the links that are already clicked so the the page number that we're currently viewing bold so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say um, let's just uh, cut that for now so we can paste it in a bit later I am going to create um, well we won't do an if statement but we'll say echo and a condition in here uh, the condition is going to be is X equal to page now if X which is the loop through from one to four in our case because we have four pages if X is equal to the current page that's defined up here we want to make that individual number bold so for example at the moment page equals 3 in our loop this value here is equal to x so therefore we, we can make it bold so I'm gonna say echo if x is equal to page we can then say um, let's see uh, let's um, paste that back in we don't need the echo here because we're already defining it before this check um, and if the if the um, if X is equal to the page we can put some strong tags around that to highlight it however otherwise we want to just again we can take this in fact we can just take this part of the link and we can um, put that in there so essentially what we're doing is we're saying is X equal to page so are we on the current page if we are on the current page we're gonna wrap strong tags around our link remember the space there and then otherwise we are just going to display the link plain without any strong tags at all. So let's go ahead and preview that and then we'll be at the end of the tutorial. Oh, I forgot to include the space there. Make it look messy. Okay, so you can see we're already on page three and you can see that three has been highlighted bold. It's been wrapped around with strong tags. If I was to click on one, you can see that now that's bold. Two, now that's bold. Three, we've already seen and four. So that's easy page pagination in PHP. You can obviously use this with a variety of different uh, data that you're retrieving from your database. Just follow the tutorial, uh, wrap it around the data you're already displaying and you shouldn't have any problems at all.